In this video, we are going to talk about polarized positions, something what is dividing good players from great players. Now, let's talk about what it is. We've got this 6-3 here, and we've got two possible options what we can do. Uh, one is uh, making the 3-point on our opponent's head, and the second one is just making the 10-point. Now, how should we decide, and what do I mean by polarizing positions? Uh, let's first have some fundamental things. In general, when the cube is in the middle, what we want to do and what we don't want to do about polarized positions. Well, if the cube is in the middle and we make a polarized play, what it means? Well, that means that if we make a three-point right now, there are either very, very good things what can happen uh, if opponent dances, uh, or opponent will enter and we will not basically upgrade anything. So, in this sense, it's kind of a polarized position. It would be a polarized move, since we would either be extremely happy or just not feeling that well. Uh, why is it important to connect this with the cube? Well, in general, we don't want to be making these plays where we just overkill ourselves. Because just imagine the cube is in the middle, right? We make the three point and our opponent dances. Well, we can't really maximize our potential because our position is just extremely good and all we will get is just one point. On the other hand, if he enters, well, we will have either weak cube or no cube at all. On the other hand, if we just make a stable play, something what is not polarized, like 16-10, 13-10, where basically we will be not extremely happy, but we will be very much satisfied if whatever opponent draws, right? That means we will have extremely strong cube, e even though opponent will probably take. We will have extremely strong cube and we will maximize our potential. This is why when the cube is in the middle, we are not that likely to make polarized plays, pol polarized moves, which have such a big downside. Even though the downside is not that huge here, it's just a huge difference between those things. So we better choose 16-10, 13-10, where our position is perfect 100% of the time. is going to be almost, okay, not 100% of the time. Of course, opponent can jump out with double force and 4-5. But most of the time, we will have a double take situation where we just got the perfect position, position under control. It's just awesome. While if we would have just made a three point and opponent just comes in somehow and makes the board or whatever, we are way far from the satisfaction we would have felt if we just made a 10 point. So this is what the right move is when the cube is in the middle. If we've already turned turn the cube, then it basically in this case doesn't matter. But uh, what stands is, of course, if the cube is in play, uh, on our opponent side that we don't have an access to it, we can just make this because we will maximize our potential from opponent's dances. So this is uh, what polarized position mean. And well, let's see, are you a good player or are you a great player? 